At the beginning of the story we see the state prison of Florida, and it's 2003. This is a prisoner Cortland Gentry, who was born in 1980 and jailed in 1995 and his sentence is going to last till 2031, Donald Fitzroy comes to it and makes an offer that he can get his jail reduced, if Gentry will work for him means for CIA in which he will be trained to kill terrorists and he will be made part of Sierra program and he will be held together like a shadow. So now after 18 years we come to Bangkok where in a club we see the same guy Cortland Gentry, whose code name is now Sierra 6. A girl comes to meet him named Danny Miranda who is herself an agent, who gives him a plastic gun. 6 goes to a room which he opens with the same plastic gun. There he prepares his weapons. Six is contacted from the CIA Operation Center, here we meet CIA Chief, Danny Carmichael, which tells Six that there is a man whose code name is Danny Carr who is selling the country's intelligence information to people, which can compromise his security and Danny Carr is their next target, and he told that Danny Carr has come to that club, he is not alone but he has security with him, Danny comes to the party on the floor above Six. The Danny Carr is on the target of Six but a small child comes in the middle and he does not fire even when the Carmichael is forced him, then Six sets the club's alarm and kills security men one by one, Danny Miranda also accompanying him. Danny Carr jumps down from the building and Six also jumps down behind him, and here there is a fight between them, and Six injures the Danny Carr, Danny Carr tells him he is Sierra 4 but Sierra 6 doesn't care. Four tells him that he too was hired by Fitzroy, and says that Carmichael is a fraud, today I am here tomorrow you will be, Four gives him his locket and tells him to go and expose Carmichael, after this Four dies. Then the CIA team comes there and searches Sierra Four but they do not find anything. Hearing this, Carmichael gets very angry and says that Sierra Four should have been killed earlier, Carmichael calls Six and asks did Four give you anything or did you get anything from Four's body? Six had that locket, yet Six does not tell anything to Carmichael. Six gets a drive from inside that locket, he puts that drive in the computer and sees that there is some document inside it and there is a picture of Carmichael. Agent Miranda calls and says that they have to leave now but Six tells Miranda to go alone and does not tell Miranda anything. Now in Azerbaijan we see Fitzroy who is now retired. Six calls him and tells that Carmichael may be a traitor and Four has given him something while dying which is now safe, Fitzroy says that he is sending some people there to take Six out. Carmichael talks to Agent Suzanne and realizes Six is hiding something. And Carmichael wants to do what they should have already done. But Suzanne says no no, Lloyd Hansen should not be involved in all this, he is crazy. Now we meet Lloyd in Monaco who is torturing a man and making him spit out information, Carmichael calls him and says leave what you are working and go and kill Sierra 6 and get something he has and give it to him. Carmichael tells him that he is sending Suzanne to help you but Suzanne hates Lloyd, Carmichael explains to Suzanne that Lloyd will fix your spoiled work, if Fitzroy comes to know about all this then, we are all dead bodies will be seen swimming in the sea. Six reaches the extraction site where he finds some terrorists sent by Fitzroy, and Six leaves from there, Carmichael calls Agent Miranda and says sit in the plane you see behind because Carmichael wants to meet Miranda in Burling. Fitzroy attends a friend's funeral where he meets Lloyd and learns that Lloyd was fired from the agency many years ago and now works for the private sector. Lloyd asks him about Six and Lloyd knows Fitzroy is helping Six but Fitzroy doesn't tell anything. Lloyd tells him that he has already kidnapped his niece, seeing that Fitzroy calls his extraction team and tells him to kill the agent you brought and he has one thing to keep, but Six is already alert and he fights with those people due to which the plane starts crashing, and after a while the rags of the plane fly away but Six catches a terrorist who has a parachute, after landing Six calls Fitzroy. And Fitzroy tells Six that he ordered this because his niece is kidnapped. Lloyd talks to Six. And says you have one important thing, give it to me, so I won't have to kill you. Lloyd says that he will find Six with the help of his team. Now we see Six in a train after that the story goes two years ago, where we meet Margaret at CIA station in London. And there also comes Fitzroy who tells that someone has leaked his Hong Kong address and this puts his family in danger, at present. Fitzroy will have to go to Brazil for a mission, hence the responsibility of the security of Fitzroy's niece is now up to six, 
Fitzroy tells Six that after the death of his brother and sister-in-law, he has raised his niece means Claire from them, and last month Claire was put on a pacemaker, so now she is in critical condition, now Six meets Claire. Claire takes his photo, both get mixed up, Claire goes to sleep at night but only then a man enters the house to kill Claire, Six fights and kills him, who see Claire, now the story comes in the present time and Six are now in Vienna. Six meets a German man and tells him that he has to get a lot of work done for which he will also pay him a lot of money. Six speaks to the guy that he needs to track a pacemaker called Claire Fitzroy, after which Six clean the blood from his body, and fresh. By then the man tracks down the pacemaker and Six notes down the address, after which the man photographs him to make a fake passport of Six, but he cleverly drops Six into an underground well and he shows the newspaper to Six and says that, if your price is five crawlers, then he will not let this opportunity go. Here in Burling CIA station we see Agent Miranda, Carmichael asks her as you already knew about Six's plan, Miranda says she never met Six before going to Bangkok. Six makes a plan to leave from there, then the same Lloyd is going to reach Six, Lloyd and his entire team go to the German man's house in search of Six with Fitzroy, Lloyd says where is my target? German man says where is my money and so he got his money. Now as soon as the terrorists go near that well, Six attacks them with a bomb blast, Lloyd grabs Six and asks him where the drive is and Six drops a grenade and quickly leaves the house, outside he gets Lloyd again and from behind Miranda knocks him unconscious by giving him a tranquilizer. Six feels that Miranda will help him but she keeps Six at gunpoint and tells Six to go inside the trunk of the car but he does not go. So Miranda makes him unconscious by giving a tranquilizer. Now let's look at the Casal of the Croatia. Lloyd regains consciousness and goes inside and meets Suzanne who is very angry, seeing that Lloyd hasn't caught Six yet. Lloyd also gets angry and says you let me do my work too. Because he is handling Suzanne's work and says that I am your last hope and you can't go anywhere else so you sit in the corner. Then Fitzroy meets his niece Claire, on Six in the trunk of the car. Miranda tells him that you will tell the people of CIA that I am not involved in your plan because it is a question of her career and asks him what you stole. Six tells her to encrypt a drive. Miranda asks him for that drive. Six states that the drive has been sent to Margaret the head of the UK agency, who now lives in Prague as she is retired. Now Lloyd begins to suspect that he is not alone in his plan and finds a video in which he can see that Six has sent the drive to someone with Prague's post office number written on it. Lloyd asks Fitzroy who lives in Prague but Fitzroy doesn't tell anything, so Lloyd starts pulling his nails every single one. Now we see Margaret in Prague and to meet her Miranda and Six come, Margaret tells them that she has only three months to live. Margaret opens that encrypt drive and sees that Four had come to know about all the scandals of Carmichael, he used to kill from place to place and used to explode bombs that too without any ord, for this reason Fitzroy and Margaret were also fired and now he is behind six. Carmichael wants to use the agency for his own benefit, he wants to make himself bigger than the government and there is someone who is helping him. Lloyd's people arrive outside Margaret's house. Lloyd keeps an eye on them through his camera, so the same Margaret gives her bulletproof car keys to Six and asks him to leave after this, firing start at all of them and the terrorists throw grain inside. Margaret locks the Six in the basement to hide him and as soon as the Lloyd's men enter the house, Margaret detonates them all with the bombs. Six comes out of the house through the basement but is arrested by Prage's police forcibly six firing there by taking police guns lloyd's people reach there and start firing at six which scares suzanne more because it can hurt the police too and after causing so much destruction they are going to get trapped badly and ask to stop all this as lloyd's men approach six six breaks off his handcuffs and lloyd's alpha beta and delta team follow six and destroy the entire city and crash into a tram as soon as Miranda comes there saves Six, now we see that from the team of Lloyd now no one is left but one is still alive and that is Lone Wolf a Tamil assassin who says that he is behind the target and Suzanne is wondering what is happening here. Miranda asks Six how to save Claire. Six reveals that she has a pacemaker in her body which he has tracked down to find out her address. Now they enter a hospital where they had to track the location of Claire with the pacemaker's number and they take out the location but in no time. There comes a lone wolf who makes a dangerous fight with them and snatches the drive from there runs away, 
After this, Six and Miranda come to a clinic to apply medicine on their wound. Miranda asks Six why did you go to jail, to which Six tells that his father used to torture his brother a lot. Six understood that now or his father will be alive or his brother that is why Six killed his father and Six should be jailed gone. Then one day he got Fitzroy in this job too. Here we see that lone wolf handed over that drive to Lloyd. Lloyd was very happy but this happiness did not last long because Six and Miranda had reached there with weapons. Lone wolf learns here that Lloyd is not a good man as he wants to kill a child. Six and Miranda attacks here and Six frees Fitzroy and Claire. When Six is about to take Claire and Fitzroy with him, suddenly Fitzroy gets shot and he tells Six that's get away from here, and by the way, he also takes Six to one grenade. Fitzroy kills many of Lloyd's people here by sacrificing himself. On the other hand, Mirinda is confronted by the lone wolf, there is a fierce fight between them, but in the end he gives the drive to Mirinda and says you keep this drive. Anyway these people are not firm on the principles, and he leaves from there. Here there is a fight between Six and Lloyd but Claire fires a flare gun on Lloyd and loses his two fingers. In anger, Lloyd takes Claire with him at gunpoint. Here Lloyd and Six were face to face, Lloyd was on Mirinda target but Six refuses to shoot Mirinda because it is time to do fight, after which there is a fierce fight between them, both of them kill each other badly but in the end Suzanne approaches them. She comes and shoots Lloyd, after this Suzanne also shoots on Six's leg and says that I have a plan, with the help of which whatever happened will put all the blame on Lloyd but it may happen that Six will have to go to jail again but sometimes she will send Six on a mission because Six is very good at his job, and that drive is now with Suzanne. Now, two weeks later, in Washington DC we see Six still in medical care, after a while, Carmichael and Suzanne also enter the hospital. Carmichael tells Suzanne that she should have killed Six because he can prove to be very dangerous for us and something similar happens. As soon as those people enter inside the hospital, they come to know that Six has run away from there. On the other hand, Claire was kept under the supervision of CIA, firing sounds are heard outside and it is none other than Six. Six comes to save Claire and he takes Claire from there, and with this the Grey Man movie ends with this. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.